Hi guys, um, someone on my channel asked me to do a video where I move a view that has stop views. Now if you remember or if you've seen it, I made a video where you could move a view. But in this tutorial we're going to see how we can move a view that has sub views. Now in the previous video I used a UI image view <coughs> down here to move across the screen. But if you want to have sub views, there are several ways to go about this. But I would suggest using a normal UI view, this one here. So you drag in a new view object. Now, a view is actually what you're working with the entire time. If you go up here, you can see that we have a view, and that is what we are constantly adding. And our, our sub views to like buttons and labels, but we can also drag in another view, and this view will have or will be able to have sub views, and, and it can behave exactly like this here. But we're just going to give this another background color for it to stand out like this. Now, to this view, we can do everything we can do with this view, we can add buttons and labels, image views, so um, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to drag in a button, just for the sake of it. We're going to call it Move Me, and we're going to drag in a label and let's drag in an image view, just for the fun of it. We're not going to set them to anything. Just going to throw them in here to see that they are um, moving <coughs> with the view here. All right, that's it. So you can see now, if we move this view around, we move all the sub views in it. So we need to make an outlet here. Just gonna call it the view. And now we're just gonna go ahead and start moving it. Go into the view that loads. Oh no, sorry, we need to hook up this button here. The move me button is gonna call an action called move. So we go into the view control dot implementation and we implement our move method. And um, we're just going to use a normal UI view animation, animate with duration. Yeah, we don't need any completions. So we're going to make it one second and make a block here. There we go. So everything we want to do, we place in these square brackets. And all we want to move, or sorry, want to do is to move this view to a random location on the screen. So let's see how big our view is. Well, our view is 320 times 548. That's for the iPhone 5. We're just going to make it an iPhone 4 and expand our view. Yeah, so if we work on an iPhone 4, we have a width of 320 and a height of 460. All right, and we know that if we move this from left to right, we work with the x value and up and down is the y value. Y value. So we want to move this to a random location on screen. Let's make two separate um, integers here. Float new x equals arc for random, and our float was left to right and left to right, that's the width. So it can be anything up to 320. Up to 320. And the same with the y, y value. And it could be, wasn't it 460? Yeah, 460. 460. And we simply set these new x and y random values into our view. The view set a center CG point make new X and new Y. Let me finish it off. And that's all the animation we want on this block. And that's actually all we have to do. So let's just take this for a spin here. So whenever we press that button, this view should move itself to a random location. That might go a bit off screen, but um, not to worry. 
see. And what do you know? It keeps moving to random locations. And that's actually what I wanted to show here. There was a request by someone. So um, I hope you can use it. And, and before we leave this, I just want to clarify that when you are working in this view, it has its own X and Y values. They are not these values. So if you mess with the, um, the center points of any subviews within this view, you can't think of it as belong to this view. They belong as subviews to this view. So their coordinates are coordinates inside their super view. But um, you can read more about that in the app documentation and how views and subviews work. But um, that's all I wanted to show you guys. And as I've said, you can add any subview to this view you want. Just make sure you that if you do it programmatically, you add them to subviews of this new view and not the main view here. Right, thank you guys for watching and I hope you liked this.